Hey there, it's Dr. Ryan. Listen, uh, this morning a patient told me that uh, they were considering a new medication their doctor prescribed for them um, that uh, slashes the risk of heart attack by 50%. And the, the challenge I would have with that is, is that that actually doesn't take into account uh, the absolute risk. So if, if a medication slashes your chance of getting a heart attack by 50%, that's, a, that's an amazing number uh, if it actually did that. But those statistics never take into account the absolute risk. And so what that means is this. Let's say that out of 100 people, there were two people that were actually going to have a heart attack. Well, if it slashes the risk of heart attack by 50%, that means now only one out of those two would have a heart attack. But if it's one, that means one out of 100 people would be helped. So the statistics actually show that 100 people would have to take that medication in order for one to get better, right? And that's actually, research used that number a lot more. Researchers use the NNT number, and you should know what that is. The NNT number is the number needed to treat. And they've done a number of assessments on them over the years, and you might be shocked to know that the most medications uh, uh, actually don't have anywhere near the statistical effect on health uh, that they show in the advertising. So as an example, this, uh, this is from Business Week. Um, some of you guys may have seen this, and I'll show you the, the cover here. So this is the one on uh, where they were doing the questions about uh, about Lipitor, and um, and they and they checked out a few different drugs, and it just says for many people, cholesterol drugs may not do any good. And what they wanted to do is actually look at the real statistics, and what it showed is this. And so they have a a chart here. Uh, going through and it says as an example for an antibiotic if somebody has an ulcer and they have bacteria in their stomach they take an antibiotic cocktail the an the NNT number is 1.1 what that means is that 10 out of every 11 people that take this medication they would have a positive in impact on the anti on the bacteria. In other words, the bacteria would be killed by the antibiotic. And so you know some people, they take an antibiotic, and every once in a while they have to take another round of it to get rid of the bacteria, the rest of the bacteria. So that means 10 out of 11 times the antibiotic will work exactly as it's designed to. So it's 1.1. It's actually quite good statistically, right? But then you look at other numbers. You look at things like Lipitor um, to prevent one death or serious medical condition, the actual number is 500. To prevent one heart attack, the actual number is 250. So that means this, that means that 250 people would have to preventatively take Lipitor, the cholesterol-lowering medication, in order for one to not have a heart attack as a result of taking that medication. And when people look at those numbers, right, imagine now somebody came to you and said, okay, we have a new diet. And the good part is, is that every one of you needs to follow this diet for a year. There's 250 of you. And I have some great news. After a whole year of following this diet, one of you is going to get results. Do you sign up for that? And if so, you need to knowing kind of the, the big picture. And it's the same thing with a lot of the medications. So they always, they all have their place. They absolutely do um, uh, without question. But I just want to make sure that as a patient, we're actually looking at the bigger picture when it comes to the effectiveness. Because when you look at one in 250 and then you take into account all of them, the nasty side effects, of, especially of cholesterol-lowering medication, especially when we know that you can actually change it with lifestyle more than you can with medication. Reality is, is, that, uh, is that most people, once they get the big picture, they might choose something different than they otherwise would have. I hope that helps out. Remember, look at the NNT number, the number needed to treat. That'll help you understand uh, your health.